All right, y'all, I want to first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and the glory to y'all. By Shemel, Shah, by Shem, Makakadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutation, all the brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity. This is Psalms chapter uh, 137. Here again with another daily psalm through the spirit and power, y'all, by Shemel, Shah. This is Psalms 139, Salakia, and 7. Whether shall I go from thy prayer, thy spirit? Or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. So I got this precept because, you know, Esau Edom believes that he's going to escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, these devils, Esau Edom, is a vagabond, you know, he was cursed, he was given the curse of leprosy, and he was cursed to be a vagabond in the earth, this is uh, Genesis 14, I mean 4 and 14, behold, thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth, Whack. yeah, I'm a face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, I'm talking about, you know, you, you devils will never be able to grasp this word, man. You'll never be, you'll never be uh, able to get this truth. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that finds me shall slay me. You know, so you devils are fugitives and vagabonds in the earth. You know, a fugitive is a, a, a vagabond means to a fleer, one that doesn't have a settled home. And you devils don't have a... Uh, a settled home you don't you like the scripture says in Habakkuk uh you need to keep it at home because you don't have a home well you had a home in Edom you know in the carcass mountains see a wanderer he's a vagabond uh stroll about strolling about you know these devils they they vagabonds man they they be all over the goddamn place they originated from the the uh, Carcass Mountains, man. <clears throat> the scripture says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. It's talking about the uh, Carcass Kazaria, you know, over there in, that, in the Middle East. Um, but that's besides the point. You devils believe that you're going to escape the judgment of Yahweh Shem Shah. But the scripture says, you, if you go into the heavens, the Lord is there. And if you don't, if you if you go down deep in the earth, <laughs> the Lord is with you wherever you go, man. You can't run from the presence of the Lord. This is a uh, Amos chapter nine, verse uh, two. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Behold, I mean, so though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. So the Lord is saying, if you go into the heavens, he's still going to get your ass. If you go deep, digging into to the bottom of the, digging in the, uh, in, the, um, in the mountains or underground somewhere, the Lord is still going to grab your ass from down there, man. So it's no escaping the most high. And you devils are going down and you got to face it, man. You know, so to reflect on this lesson, man, the, the more of the lesson. You know, through the spirit, you devils would not be able to escape the presence of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, thus said the Bible. Let me read this. I'm going to end it off with this again. Psalms 137 and 7. I mean, 139 and 7. Whether shall I go from thy spirit or wh whether shall I flee from thy presence? So you ain't going to flee from the presence, presence of the Lord, you devils. You know, you're not going to flee from his presence. He's always going to be around, man. And you ain't going to be able to escape the judgment that's going to come to you, man. And it's coming very soon. If I ascend up to into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. So, it's nowhere you devils can go. It's nowhere you can hide. It's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do. Let me get some your incorruptible spirit.
Because the Lord's spirit is in all things. This is sit wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. For a dying incorruptible spirit is in all things. So you really cannot escape the Lord, man. He's inescapable. He's everywhere, man. You know? You can't escape the judgment. Most importantly, you can't escape from the Lord. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to y'all by Shemel I hope this lesson will edify and through the spirit and power y'all by Shemel I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Yasha Allah, and Death to America.